Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for March 4th, 2020. Today we're looking at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. It's no secret here that the Australian dollar has been in a downtrend for quite a long time. If we're looking here at the weekly time frame, we look all the way back to the top of the chart. You're looking into January of 2018, uh, began this long-term downtrend of course within the downtrend we've had many times where we've seen ups and downs but overall uh, it has been a significant downtrend for the Australian dollar since January of 2018 bottoming out the lows in just the past couple of weeks into the mid 0 0.64 64.50 or so is the low point for the Australian dollar in the past couple of weeks again we are looking at the weekly time frame. Zooming it in a little bit here, let's go in a couple of times, uh, the most recent leg of the downtrend, that significant push from the 0 0.770 level, uh, top of the black trend line, or right around the 0 0.70 level, again, bottoming out down here, mid 0 0.64s. Interesting weekly candle that we have right now, isn't it? This large blue candle, we had that bearish candle prior to we had a little bit of a gap lower the previous week a bearish candle down to the low point and then that open and that sudden reversal uh, somewhat like a bullish engulfing candle here isn't it uh, for the week where we have engulfed the previous body of the previous weekly candle so that's an interesting setup because if that stands true we may be looking at some sort of uh, short term or maybe long term reversal here for the Australian dollar. Not only that, we have the trend line coming down here representing this downtrend and the market challenging above that black trend line and the 66 level, 0 0.66, the green shaded area. So a lot of evidence here to point to a potential shift back above 66 black trend line and a potential short term or longer term trend reversal let's just take one simple fib let's take Fibonacci from the top of the black trend line to the lowest low on the chart and a simple 382 or 38 percent retracement of that trend easily takes it right back here to the orange shaded area a 618 fib retracement a lot longer retracement would take it way up here into the 0 0.68 level uh, up here towards this green shaded area is kind of hard to see it there, but it is up there into the 068. So potential signs of reversal here, or at least some more significant retracement of the long-term downtrend for the AUD USD showing on the weekly time frame. Let's take it down to the daily time frame. And again, there's that trend line there, the black trend line. There's the Fibonacci that we just drew here on the chart just to give us an idea of where those retracement points would be uh, all of that still showing here on the daily time frame challenging the 0 0.66 level so at least at this point as long as it stays above 0 0.66 which is the middle part of that green shaded area we could be looking for further evidence of reversal what i'd like to see is an actual candle get up above and stay up above this green shaded area that's going to give me higher confidence that it's a real break rather than a false break is if we can get a full candle above there right now we saw yesterday's candle get above and then get right back below today we're challenging above the question is will today stay above 0 066 or will it just suddenly reverse like yesterday's candle did so that's why i'm saying i'd like to at least have a daily close if not a daily opening close above the green zone to increase my confidence that there's a real break and a continuation higher if it gets above often what we'll look for is maybe using that green zone as support a little bit of a dip back down there as support for the next push higher at least right now the risk is it gets back underneath 0 0.66 and that black trend line or or the green shaded area is already under the black trend line but under the green zone and turns back lower heading back down in the direction of long-term trend back to the purple zone so we're watching this green zone for signs of breakout above or if it were to suddenly reverse today and get back under the green zone, we'd look for it to go back in the other direction, at least as it stands at the very current moment, and that's what it, where I like to trade is in the current moment, is that it's trying to break above 0 0.66. Let's look for further evidence of that four-hour time frame. Here we are on the four-hour, nothing really new. There's the same stuff we were talking about on the 
longer term compressions. There's the black trend line. Here we are challenging above it. Uh, would like to see the market stay above and not get like yesterday right back below the green zone. Would like to see it sit down on top of the green zone as support. Would like to see that new rally towards the 382 fib of that longer term range back into the 66, 70, 85, the orange shaded area up there is where that 382 fib lives from that longer trend range. It doesn't have to do any of that. Could get right back under the green zone. So that's the risk in this scenario. But currently, if we were to buy above 66, targeting 6670, pretty decent intraday profit if we can get it. Uh, so I'm watching for further evidence of break of the green zone and a continuation of a trend shift for the Australian dollar. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.